What's up, what's up everyone? How's everybody doing tonight? Um, so I was, uh, <laughs> oh shit. So I was here in the garage, screwing around. I ended up making my, uh, making my part for the frame of the Kia. So, uh, we made the part of the Kia. Boop, boop, boop. So there's the part of the Kia. That's, uh, that little spot in, uh, in the frame of the Kia. It's got that little rust hole. It's probably about yay big. So, I'm going to trim out the rust hole. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut into the frame, and we're going to cut the frame to match. This part of the frame here, that's kind of sharp. But anyways, uh, the part of the frame kind of sits like that, and then it kind of curves. Well, on the frame, it's got an angle, so when you stick this up there and weld it to the frame, it's got the... The angle down at the bottom so when it curves it kind of got the angle right there so how it angles down that's part of the frame what I showed you last night so it's going to sit up there like this so we're going to cut the outside of the frame we're going to cut the old section out and then on the underneath the frame we're going to cut it out and then we're going to take this and we're going to put right up in that hole and then we're going to tack weld this all the way around and that's going to be the new part of the frame now there's going to be a lot of people going saying oh that's not the way you do it da 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 blah 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 honestly if you look underneath the kia the frame is literally little bit wider than this so literally the frame is probably the frame is literally the frame is literally that wide that's how wide the frame is on the Kia so what I'm just cutting out is this section of the Kia on the frame there's like a little hump and that's what this is going to be that's going to be the hump of the where the frame is because it looks like they took one part of the frame the other part of the frame put it together and then they welded this on top all the way in the middle of the frame clear to the front so they literally took two pieces welded it together and then this got welded on top to kind of give it that so that where they welded it it has that sharp or that support so the frame don't snap so we're going to take that section this set little section out cut it out of the frame and then we will weld this into the frame that i cut out and uh then i might take this little guy here and weld on top so that way it can line up it will match the rest of the frame design so we got that all right <laughs> and then what i was laughing about is i had a piece of steel laying here that i cut and the way i cut it the way it was cut was a shape of a knife it literally looked like the shape of a blade right shape of a blade but it didn't have no sharp point or anything on it and it was funny to me because when i looked over i was like holy shit are you serious right now and uh <clears throat> so i was looking at it and I was like, you know what? I was like, you know what? My stepson, 
he collects knives. I don't know if my biological son, he collects knives or not. He, he liked them, but I don't know if he still collects them. So I don't know if he does. I was thinking about making him one. But my stepson, my wife's boy, he likes to uh, collect knives. All different kinds of knives. I never made a knife before, so this is kind of new to me. But uh, as you can tell, uh, I know you guys can't see me holding it right now. You can just see the tip of it or the top of it. So I was sitting here <coughs> staring at this piece of steel. And I'm like, you know what? I wonder if I can make a knife out of that. I never, like I said, I never did fabrication work before. I never done anything with steel before. Never cut, I cut steel, but I never really did, you know, it's always been body work, you know, cutting cheap, you know, buying and re, just cutting it out and replacing it and tack welding it in, right? So I never really done fab work before. So I was sitting here and I was like, you know what? I wonder if I can make a blade. So what I did is <laughs> I made a blade. Legitly made a blade. I still got a lot of work to do to it like this is staying but I gotta clean it up this here is getting rounded down in the back so it's literally going to be rounded down so there's going to be a little hump here but it won't be like this and then I am going to uh, either make a wood handle for it or I am going to put some wood on it, screw some wood to it, and then wrap some leather around it and get some uh, string, some uh, like your uh, like your boots that have the uh, the boots that have the string on it. <clears throat> your uh, God damn, what kind of boots are those? <clears throat> but anyways, wrap some leather boot string around the handle. So put put some wood on it and curve the wood to make a round handle. And then the handle will be wood. So it'd be like this. So it would look like So it would look like something like that. And then I will curve the wood on top and on bottom, just curve the wood. And then I could, uh, then I will uh, figure out to put some fake leather over it, wrap some fake leather, and then take uh, your Timberland, you know, your, your brown Timberlands, uh, like that kind of shoestring, but remember the old work boots that your parents used to wear and it had the leather string yeah get some of that wrap around it and maybe on the back of it put like some kind of uh thing on the back of it that way uh that way you have a handle and it looked badass and then it'd be something that you can set up on a shelf <coughs> so that's what I was thinking. I thought it was kind of cool. Like I said, I still got to do some work to it. Uh, the wife said I should make a dagger out of it. Um, to make a dagger, I don't know how I could do that. I really don't know how I'd be able to do that. But, uh... <clears throat> I thought it I thought it would be cool <laughs> to uh, take uh, <clears throat> real thin sheet metal or real thin metal like something like this 
something like that that goes to the Kia make something like that make like a real sharp point and then kind of like weld it on there almost like an arrow type deal kind of weld it and make the edges real sharp but only <clears throat> it only be like yay long about like that and then like uh cut this at an angle cut this piece at an angle and then you can weld it on there that way if it ever went into something you imagine pulling it back out Ooh, that would hurt that would literally hurt or you know weld something on the top I don't know I don't know we'll figure we'll figure something cool out <clears throat> well yeah that's that's the beginning of a uh, knife that uh, I decided to make tonight <laughs> Oh, shit, the things that I come up with. Um, but, as of right now, this is going to be the sharp edge. Sharp edge. And then I was thinking about sharpening this part, too. But this part will kind of have a little curve to it. So, it literally will look like... See if we can draw it on with a pencil. So something, I don't know if you guys can see that. See how I drew that on there with pencil? So maybe do something like that. Have that curve on it right there. Have that curve right there. Maybe do something like that. And then I think that would look kind of cool. Maybe not make it that deep but at least put a little curve on it you know just a a little curve put a little curve on it maybe i don't know put a little curve on it and then uh you know this top will be just like how it is but sharpen this section here and sharpen this section um, and then make a handle for it wrap it and then take old shoe, old uh, leather shoestrings and wrap around it and make something fancy out of it and uh, yeah I just kind of wanted to share that real quick with you all uh, I'm going to go in and make my sick wife uh, some uh, um make my wife uh, grilled cheese sandwiches and uh, <coughs> sorry guys I'm getting <laughs> this is just cracking me up it, it literally is cracking me up that I literally laid a piece of steel after I was cutting and literally I was cutting this to build this and I just literally just laid a piece of snow on the workbench. And while I'm over here all doing my thing and welding and stuff, I just happen to look over and I'm like, well, shit, I wonder if I can uh, make a knife out of that. <laughs> so, yeah, funny story. But with that being said, always stay true, always stay positive and, uh, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. And uh, if I can do it, I know you guys can. But with that being said, I thought you guys would get a kick out of my stupid ass of uh, coming up with an idea like that. And uh, just by looking at something, and that's what I mean. You know, if you got that, if you step outside the box and use that creative mind you have, and there's a lot of people out there who has that creative mind like I do, where they can literally look at a piece of steel and be like, and visualize what it could look like, and then you make it. Out looking at a piece of paper, 
out looking at anything, out drawing it, just kind of visualizing it, stepping outside the box and going, whoa, look what I've, look what I've, uh, figured out. So, uh, we're going to see what happens. Uh, I might do a video of me, uh, working on this. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Like I said, this channel is a little bit about whatever. You never know what you might get. I've been doing this been doing this uh, channel for about three years now, off and on. The past year and a half, I've been uh, really at it. Um, so, if there's something you like, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like, share, whatever. Tell your friends, tell your family that there's a dude on the internet that will look at something and just get creative with it, I guess. I don't know. You never know what's going to happen on this channel. Talk to y'all later. Joker1014 is out.